going to take a look at the Jazz Standard Blue Room. We're going to take a look at three uh, aspects of it. We're going to look at the melody, look at the chord progression, and also look at the uh, at soloing uh, over it. It's a backing track with uh, drums, bass, um, and the piano. Uh, and the piano also is, is uh, there's a melody. It's swung pretty hard, so it doesn't really match up with the chart, but it kind of does, and it's good to um, have that experience of uh, knowing how to um, play along with a, uh, a melody um, that is swung. So you can either learn it swung or you can read off the page and play it accurate to the rhythm on the page. Uh, both of those are, are good approaches. Um, and the melody isn't so loud in the track that it, uh, it, uh, it uh, interferes with that. So essentially you're going to go through uh, top two lines, so repeat sign, uh, first ending, second ending, uh, second time through, stop halfway through the second line, and begin the uh, second ending where it has a two in the bracket. There's a middle eight um, after the double bar line. Uh, it starts with a C9, works its way through. Then in the next double bar line, one, two, three, four, bar, bar five, middle, uh, we have the last theme. Uh, I won't play through the melody because I'll play through it with the track. Chord wise, F major seven to D minor seven. Uh, G minor 7, C9, F major 7, D minor 7, the, the negative sign is minor in these charts, G minor 7 to C9, uh, F major 7, 2, 3, 4, B flat major 7, G minor 7, F major 7, G7, which you can either play as a bar like this, or play as a chord like this. I find that pretty awkward. It took me a while to get good at it, but I did. Uh, but it can be played as a bar chord here. I generally play it as a bar chord. Um, and then G minor, 7 and C9, etc. etc. You walk down, the chords are all the same, I think, from that section on uh, in terms, terms of voicing. Sometimes I'll substitute this C9 for C7. And I'll sometimes pop that third finger back and forth. Uh, soloing, uh, we have four sources for uh, soloing materials. One of them is the melody itself, which I will sometimes quote. Sometimes I'll start the um, solo with the melody and then launch the solo from the melody. Uh, we have the arpeggio of uh, the chord of the moment or the arpeggio of the chord of the key. So that would be an F uh, in that case. If you're doing that, um, don't start your um, your arpeggio from this E uh, because it's an F, um, the, like the chord is an F chord. So this E will sound sour with it. It's kind of, give you that kind of sound with an F and an E. So I said, you can launch it out of that E if you come off of the E really quickly. Like that arpeggio pattern is a really nice pattern to, uh, to launch out of. Um, otherwise you can just uh, clip an arpeggio just off of whatever chord you happen to be perhaps to be playing at that time as you're soloing. The third source of material, of course, is the F major scale. Uh, and then riffs that you know in the key of F. Uh, if there's a riff like, like that, uh, this, this C position, C, B, uh, <laughs> B flat, A, A flat, G, um, uh, G flat and then F like that um, and a riff I know like that or either one of those a, a nice riff in the key of F and uh, then um, things like that I'll you'll see me play those uh, I'll quote them pretty often so let's get started we'll play the melody one time through with the melody one time through with the chords and then one time through uh, with a solo. Here we go. Two, and a one, two, and three, and four, and... Go through 
through again for the top. Sometimes I like to slide the seat. Second ending, middle of line three, middle eight. Second ending, We're heading into the middle eight, here we go. Slide into the court. D minor, G7, G minor 7, C9. Last theme, here we go. Scrappy solo. Anyway, um, that was a little scrappy, but we got through it. Um, go and enjoy.